Hello everyone and welcome to the Deployment Research YouTube channel. My name is John Arvidberg and in this video I will show you how you can replace the gather action from the config manage MDT integration with the PowerShell version. So that means of course demo time. So first of all, why would you leave the config manage MDT integration behind? Well, first and foremost, MDT is no longer being developed by Microsoft. And for the config manual features, which is a lot of them, there haven't been any real development work for almost a decade. And also every single script that an integration is using behind the scenes is VB script. And very few people invest today in, in learning VB script. So therefore it makes sense to start to move over function by function, feature by features, that integration over to PowerShell. And one of the most commonly used features in that integration is indeed the gather action. So to show you, here I have a few sequences. If I can spell correctly, I will show you a few sequences. Here is a native sequence created with the Microsoft default template that comes with Config Manager. And you can see it's about two thirds of the screen here in size. If I open up an MDT integrated sequence instead, basically having the same functionality, but with all the MDT additions to it, you can see it's much, much, much longer. But every now and then there will be a gather action here. Behind the scenes, this is a VB script running, it's parsing in a file to generate settings that the sequence then will leverage. Now, our friend over at OneVin, Mr. Johann Schurvelius, he has created a PowerShell version of that gather script. He doesn't use an inner file like the MDT gather does, but it does provide useful variables that you can use for your deployment. And this script also have a debug action. So I can open up a PowerShell prompt. Where I have downloaded that script and I can simply run it with the debug option. And this will show you all the variables that would have been assigned if I had run that script on in my sequence. Here, for example, you have the traditional variables, is desktop, is laptop, is server, if it's a virtual machine or not, and some of the other variables that this script can generate for you. Now, to add this to the sequence, you have basically two options. Either you put it in a package, and you tell the sequence to run that package, or run that PowerShell script, or since the script is actually that not that heavy, It's only a few hundred lines of code. You can definitely take a copy of it, go to your sequence, and I'm going to go to my native sequence here. And in the beginning of that sequence, add a run PowerShell script action, move it up a bit, call it run gather or just gather, and then you can paste the script in here. That way, when you run the script, all those variables will be set and the sequence can use them. So for example, if I have an application that I only want to install on, on desktops or on laptops, I can create a group here. Install apps for desktops. And I can put a condition on it and say, if sequence variable is desktop happens to be true, then run this group. And I can add in a step to install one or more application in this group. For example, my uh, good old 7-zip here. So fairly easy to replace the gather action with this. It doesn't have all the functionality, 
but it does have the most commonly used variables that folks that were using the MDT creation did for uh, config money here. So to test this, I will simply click OK, saving my changes. I'm going to go ahead and enable debug mode so we can see the variables as they're being created. I'm going to head over to uh, my all unknown computers collection. And I'm going to make sure that the debugger is enabled. It is, it's set to true. So now I can go to a client. Go to a clean snapshot. Boot it up. And this one I'm just starting on a config manager boot image. Click next. Define the sequence I was working with. It was this one here. We'll give it a computer name just for fun. And now that the bogus starts, I can see it's about to run the gather action that I just added, so I can step through that one. And now you can see it's completed and the various variables that was set by that script is now available here for the sequence to use. That was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Bye for now.